Howdy and welcome to another video edition of Remedy Land. Today I want to talk to you about patent ductus arteriosus. Patent ductus arteriosus occurs when the developing ductus arteriosus does not close and persists as a shunt connecting the left branch of arteria pulmonalis and aorta, usually near the left subclavian. The blood flows from the aorta through the ductus continuously in systole and diastole. It is a form of arteries venous fistulae in that way work of the left ventricle is increased. In some patients, obliterative changes in blood vessels in the lungs are leading to pulmonary hypertension. In that case, shunt is bidirectional or right-left. The clinical picture of patent ductus arteriosus Symptoms and signs of patent ductus arteriosus. There are no symptoms until a left ventricular decompensation. The heart is in the normal range or easily increased with strong action at the top. A pulse pressure is wide and diastolic pressure is low. To the left, on the edge of the sternum in the first intercostal space can be heard a continuous harsh murmur, accented in late systole. Thrill is common. If there is a significant increase in left ventricle there is an paradoxical splitting of the second tone. Radiographic findings of patent ductus arteriosus. The heart is normal in size and contour, but there can be increasing of the left atrium and left ventricle. Conspicuous protrusion of the aorta and the left atrium. ACG of patent ductus arteriosus. Normal findings or signs of left ventricular enlargement which depends on the width of the ductus. Special tests for patent ductus arteriosus. With cardiac catheterization it is possible to establish the left-right shunt. The catheter can pass from pulmonary aorta through the ductus into the aorta, and with help of angiocardiography it is possible to exclude the presence of other defects, such as valsalva sinus rupture into the right heart which produces a similar sound as the ductus arteriosus persistence. Treatment for patent ductus arteriosus, in experienced hands, operative mortality is low, less than 1%, therefore it is advisable to close ductus. Operative mortality is higher in elderly patients. Therefore, surgical intervention should be advised carefully particularly if the patients are asymptomatic and do not have left ventricular hypertrophy. The greatest risk is subacute bacterial endocarditis. In case that there is pulmonary hypertension, an indication for ligation or cutting of patent ductus arteriosus is disputed, but the contemporary view goes in favor of ligation in all cases in which left-right shunt is present, while pulmonary flow increases. The pressure in arteria pulmonalis is less than 100 mm Hg. Prognosis for patent ductus arteriosus. Big shunts in early childhood cause high mortality. Smaller shunts are compatible with long life. The most common complication is congestive heart failure. Also may occur and bacterial endocarditis. A small percentage of patients have pulmonary hypertension, therefore lower limbs especially the toes are cyanotic, compared to the normal color of the fingers. In this condition the patient is not suitable for surgery. I hope you've enjoyed this video edition. We'll see you again on another video edition of Remedy Land. Take care.